Well, my son, we had been trying type of uh, uh, way to teach a child with disabilities how to ride. A lot, a lot of us were thinking, oh my gosh, the, you know, he's not going to make it. He's not going to ride by Friday. Um, but by Friday morning, he was getting on the bike. He really wasn't sure about it at first. And I was, I finally took over and I was running around the, the basketball court and he, I don't, for a lot of times, because I was behind him, I was just letting go and he didn't know I was letting go. And then at one point, I mean, he is riding, I mean, really riding and I pull up, run, surge ahead and I look at him and I said, Nicholas, I'm not holding on to you. Ryan, I need a break. <laughs> You are riding, and he looks over at me, and he's like, oh my gosh. And it, my, I mean, I had chills. I mean, and everybody watching, there were tears, and I mean, it really was amazing for me. Just like, it, you know, seeing a bird pushing a little birdie out of the nest and watching him fly. And I think everyone in the room learned through this. You, are told with a child with disability so often they will never do this or they'll never do that. Proud of you. And the the feeling that I had after that week was so great because I helped close to 30 disabled kids learn to do something they were their parents were told they would never do.